Hello, my name is Samantha Terris, and I'm presenting my Graduating with Honors project for New Camp's Front End Bootcamp. My app's name is Monolog. It's a journaling app, and it was created with React Native. The reason why I decided to create a journaling app is because I wanted to document my progress learning how to pro program, and I thought this would be a great way for me to solidify what I've learned in my bootcamp and uh, also use after I'm done. So I first created the design with Figma and it is built with React Native. It's set up with Expo. I also pulled in some third-party libraries such as React Native Elements, React Navigation, React Native Calendar, and attempted to use Expo Secure Store with my app. Here's my app, and you'll see that it starts at the homepage here. One of my, the challenges that I faced with this app was implementing a web API, which I had to fetch. Um, and this is the first time I've ever done this. So I fortunately was learning about this in a free Scrimba course that I've been taking as well. And I also went back to some Udemy courses that I've taken in the past to remember how to do this. And surprisingly, it actually ended up being fairly simple. Um, I used a use effect hook. All my components are functional components um, to get a random quote and then use this API to then um, get the data and set the random quote to the data. So each time the user reloads this page, you will see a new quote. The way my app works is it's a very basic journaling app so the user can go to a new entry and change their mood. They can add a title and some text and they can also add an image from their camera. And then it sets the ratio automatically so they can crop it. Log the entry and they will see a preview of it, submit it, and then it goes to another tab on the bottom here, which is their journal. They can also add more entries and that adds it to a new array that is managed in the submitted entries component. When they change the mood, if they decide not to keep a certain mood, they can click out of it and it goes back to the default mood. And they can also choose from the gallery. They can choose multiple images as well. And that gets, sets the state of the images array to add more images to that array. One issue that, another issue that I came across was conditionally rendering the My Journal screen so that if the user didn't submit anything yet, then you would see a screen like this. And before this screen was shown, it was trying to look for this variable, which of course wasn't created yet until the user submitted a new entry. So I had to check first if props.route.params was undefined to then show this view instead. And then if it was defined, then you would map over all the entries and show all of the data. I was hoping to do more with this app, like add a calendar feature where you could go to each day to see more information, but I didn't have time, but I'm looking forward to adding more soon when I continue on in the full stack development bootcamp 
and I hope you enjoy my project.